And it is no secret that our city relies heavily on tourism, and a big part of that is local conventions. Both CES and SEMA, the two largest conventions, have canceled, and it's left many quite scared for the future. Sasha Loftus spoke with two of the many people who rely on events like this and joins us live outside the Las Vegas Convention Center with the latest. Sasha. Well, Brian, 2020 was set to be a huge year for the convention industry. Then a global pandemic hit. Now, as yet another large event announced its cancellation last week, many are realizing they're affected in ways they never expected. When a Las Vegas convention is canceled, the fallouts span farther than most can really imagine. I shoot 350 events a year, and I have photographed nine events in five months. Last week, the Specialty Equipment Market Association announced its 2020 convention is a no-go due to COVID-19 concerns. I don't think people really realize the trickle-down effect of an event like SEMA being canceled. The latest in this long list of changes isn't just a loss for hotels and restaurants, it's devastated event photographers and decorators like Michelle Rothstein. We have a little bit of work, uh, certainly not what we normally would have at this time of year. Conventions brought 6.6 .6 million visitors to our city just last year. And the elimination of SEMA alone is a huge hit. You have a direct effect, you have an indirect effect, you have an induced effect. Sort of conservative estimate might be that might be a $250 million hit on the, the local economy. So for now, those in the industry are getting creative. We've just kind of had to pivot as we go along. Until they can once again rely on the currency of their chosen craft. As soon as it comes back, I know that we'll all be thriving. Now, Stephen Miller tells me that while conventions are a huge part of our economy, they are extremely important. They do make up only about one of seven of our yearly visitors. The rest come from those who come here for vacation or to gamble, just general tourists. For now, reporting live, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.